Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Craig Tech New Horizon series. I am just about to get these going here. I think we have everything we do. All right, so anything too crazy? It's actually not not that bad, actually. Oof, 72 bar barites dust. I don't know if I have a whole lot of that. Lots of copper, as we can see, but uh, overall not too bad. Ooh, I don't know if I have enough healing down there for that. Obviously, we got <laughs> 18. Did I do 18 or did I do 16? Why is it crafting 18? That's weird, right? Why 18 pumps or 16 energy hatches what else am i hmm that's weird right 16 energy hatches oh for the probably for the um superconducting coils is that superconducting wires i'm assuming somewhere Anyway, yeah, so there we go. So I need more super conducting wires. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that going and uh, see if the thing works. I had some issues with the Enderium dust. I had to... What did I do with it? Ah, right, I put it right here. I made a new mixer and put it here because it needs a two. But if you put a two in here with the superconductor base, then it creates bronze, I think. All right, so that's working. And also, if I have such issues with this. Uh, with recipes clashing with this, I'm probably, I probably need to make another one or two. But that is pretty annoying that we have recipes um, flashing. I did see if you put a tin in one input bus and a copper in the other ones, it will make bronze, even if they're in different hatches. So that is really annoying. And also I realized <laughs> my thermal centrifuge got shut off in the last episode. At the end it wasn't working because duh, I broke my multi-block. So everything that was running I uh, didn't have the power going to it. All right. Anyway, we'll just kind of let that go, and uh, we'll see what we need to, uh, if we need to do anything here. I uh, I think we're good on radon, right? It's four per, isn't it? And I have eight in there. Yeah, I have enough. I have about 88 quantumize, I think. Yeah, we have enough. All right, so we'll just let that go. All right, so last episode, um, we kind of started getting into some uh, thomic energistics. I thought uh, today I want to get the last little bit of it kind of automated here. I'm not going to get too crazy with this, but uh, yeah, I want to get automated crafting and I want to get this hooked up um to the a system um so let's see how do we want to i probably need to first of all i probably need to move this down there but um i think we need to do did i put my book away where did i put that probably the auto crafting first because a lot of these parts that we need are going to need to be made in a lots of big numbers like the discs are going to use a lot of like these and this is all like this is all going to be have to done in a crafting table like an arcane craft table which we can do in here now um so that's not too bad but um i want to kind of get that going sooner than later now i think it works basically the same as the regular crafting, but you need this arcane assembler. Ooh, okay. So 
That's a thing. <laughs> I didn't even think about the uh, recipe being difficult. All right. Okay. So wait a second here. So we need a thalmy embossed silver wood scepter. This is locked behind. Okay. So this just got a little bit crazier. Um, silver wood scepter. That is no joke. And like this recipe, if I pull it up, probably, yeah, this recipe won't work. It's probably been adjusted. Let's see. Um, if I can find it, there's the thomium. So 210 <laughs> for the Thalmy Boss Silverwood Scepter. All right, so let me, uh, that needs 150. I can do 100 at the moment. I probably need to do a wand, like a gold or something like this to get All right, so this is 150 and I can do this now. So this is probably what we need to do next. Let me get some of this stuff crafted up and we might have to do some hopping here with the wands, which is a bit of a pain. All right, we have a slight change of plans here. I think I'm gonna do, um, get the infusion altar, um, not automated, but uh, fed with the essentially, I think I'm gonna do that first. Um, just because I'm going to need a whole bunch of infusion recipes to get auto crafting up. So I think, uh, might as well just go ahead and get that going. Now I need... Yeah, so I need some storage cells. Which, these aren't too bad. It does need a bunch of thomium and the ward of glass that we looked at before. But it does need these Essentia processors. Now I did all the, I made all the things for, uh, all the recipes for that. So I got enough for like three or four, I think we did. So I can't do a recipe for this yet, but we can go ahead and think get some of these crafted up and then I can get some Essentia put into the A system. Did I lose one of those? I accidentally was standing on top of the door and I think I voided a couple of those quantum. It looks like. Door door. Well, I think I'm missing one. I think got voided. All right, so there's the NAND. And the Salus Mundi. All right, so that'll get us this. Didn't I do? Oh, I needed 16. Just kidding. Miscalculated. Yeah, I did enough for four. Now the warded glass. Um, I also need a essentiate terminal conversion monitor. I have no idea what that does. All right, so there's those. And that will just go back up. So we need two warded glass each, so we need at least eight. Did I? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. Get some, but we need another one. All right, so it did come in handy getting that. Does regular glass work? Regular glass works. I need to not be using that clear glass stuff, because that is annoying. My 
only use there is amber. I mine so much of it and I have like zero uses for it. Alright, so there's that. Let's go ahead and pop that in. Now I need Ignis. I need a bunch of this stuff. Was it fire? Um, I probably don't need that much. How about we do four, I guess? Do I even need that money? Probably not. Let's just do these. So what's going on there? Like, did something explode or... I'm having issues all of a sudden with this. It's so weird, it worked like perfectly forever, yeah. So now all of a sudden I'm not producing enough lava. So I... I mean... I have no idea why this all of a sudden I'm starting to have issues with this. This has worked fine for... Must have run out of lava. That is so weird, I really don't understand why. Anyway, I'll worry about that. It just doesn't make sense, it's worked fine for how many hours and now all of a sudden it just decided to stop working wonder if the uh, the pale node i don't i don't know if it's turned to pale or something i have no idea anyway i'm not gonna worry about that right now and what is it ignis yeah all right, so there's that. And I need a bunch of this. I mean, do I have enough? Yeah, I have enough, right? All right, so there is the enough for those. Perfect. That actually wasn't too bad at all. I should put this on and then it's, the price drops. Switch that back out. All right, so we got our Essentia cells. Now I have no way to look at these. I might be able to do it on like here. Is that possible? Yeah, I can do it on there if I want, but uh, I'm definitely gonna want a Essentia terminal. I'm assuming the essentially terminal is like the fluid terminal. Um, but this is... yeah. I need aqua crystals now. <laughs> need all the things. And I think I actually have... Yeah, I need to make another ME terminal, which these are a pain in the butt because I don't have these. Yeah, I have like nothing for this. All right, let me uh, craft this up really quick. And I'm also going to craft up a Essentia import bus. Full warded glasses, a filtered Essentia tube. I think I have some warded glass. All right, so yeah, we definitely have a couple things I'm going to have to craft up here. All right, so we are back, and I am just crafting a couple of these cores here. Now, these are the, like, the thomic ones. So we got diffusion and the coalescence as opposed to the annihilation and the, what are they called? Formation and annihilation. All right, so I think uh, we got everything there. Didn't I do that processor? Might have used it in uh, crafting up. No, I wouldn't have used it. Yeah, I might have used it for crafted up one of them. But anyway, so there is the processor. If we can get that done. Right, there we go. So essentially a terminal. Let's throw that on top. And I sh should have enough channels over here. But, all right, so there we go. And then we can input output just like this one. 
All right, perfect. Um, one last thing I need to do here. Throw this vanadium gallium in there. Yep, because that's the last part I need to... Oop, I also need a quad. I just realized that. I need a stack of Nequada. So I need 34. That's going to take a little while. Wait. No, 36. Just chuck this in here. All right. The the freezer is the the gate there, so there's no point to have both of them running. Anyway, so there is this. Now I need the Essentia import bus. And what are we looking at here? So Forgot so a couple things I need to looks like need some more of this. Almost out of thalmium. I need to. Is there anything else I need for thalmium? No, I th think I think we're good actually. All right, let me craft up the last little bit of this stuff, and we'll come back. All right, I think that is everything. Yep. All right, so there is the Essentia import um, bus. Now, the question is, how am I going to do this? I think I kind of want to move this, actually. Maybe inside. Uh, question is, how many... How many channels do I have left on this line? I have 26. So I have six channels. Yeah, why don't we just go ahead and move that? Um, I could put it, I think the thing's over here. Instead of just like running more cabling over there, I just don't particularly want to do that. I guess like... Maybe right there. So let's do it this way. All right, do I have that bell anywhere? Where's that Kohler Mancer's like bell thing? There it is. It was like right there and I couldn't even see it. Alright, so let's go ahead and I guess we'll break this down. I don't want the stuff to fly off the side. Let's do that. Alright, and we do... how do we do this? Shift... No. There we go. So let's just bring these in. We'll throw this, throw this on there. I think I only need one now, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's do it. Didn't mean to fall. <laughs> Cause I need to go get that night tour. Actually, no. No, I don't. What am I talking about? I don't need Nitor. The Nitor goes underneath that thing. All right, so this. And then we could throw these on top. I need a, another jar. Do I have an empty one out here? I don't. They're actually really easy to make. All 
What are they warded? Warded jar? Yeah. Warded jar. And that should just import all the Essentia that I put into it. And then I'll put that one there. Who I want. I don't want any of this hooked up. Do you? I just want it to go straight to the um the import bus. Alright. No, oh, where are you going? Where's that one going to? Where is this going to? Apparently there was one right there that I didn't know about. Alright. So we'll do that and then you go there. That's all you need to do. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll do Terra and or Terra and uh, Perdicio. So there we go. So he's not even going to move. He's just basically going to pull everything out and directly into the thing. And it's emptying out. Eh. Yeah, he's pulling out as almost as fast as it can go. There is a way to break this down even faster, which there is. I think there's like the, what is that? I don't know. Some little multi-block that breaks this stuff down way faster, which would be quicker. But anyway, so there we go. It doesn't even have to move. It's not going to get caught anything. And it's just pulling everything into the A system. I'm just kind of curious, like how much, how many bytes it uses. So we're about 25. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see when it's it's done with that whole stack. Um, I wonder if there's any like. Or a faster way to like maybe pull this out. I could do like pipes maybe going into. But I think that would, I don't know if that would actually like be faster or what that would actually be. Do I have any, uh, I don't have any pipes. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be any faster because this is not even putting anything in the top two. It's just basically pulls it out as soon as one of them goes in there. So basically the gate here is how fast this can put it into there, so. All right, but the next part, I guess, would be the infusion. And now this is just one block I need to do this and then I'll pull from that. And that is, I think the Essentia provider, I wanna call it. I'm gonna assume that this is probably it because it does need an infusion recipe. Um, all easy aspects to get a couple salus mundus, which is a bit annoying. These diffusion cores, thomium, water, filtered essentia tubes, which are relatively easy. All right, let me get this all uh, crafted up and I will get all the stuff melted down here. Now, I just realized <laughs> I'm going to have to have these out here before I can do that. So I might have to, yeah, this is going to take some finessing here because I totally didn't even think about that before I moved that. I mean, I could move it back and then fill up the, I don't know. Let me uh, do this and then we will come back. All right. The diffusion core is, oh, what am I doing? Uh, I think the last part all right, so we got everything for the Essentia provider. And there is actually one more after this. 
um, that I didn't realize. And uh, the infusion provider is actually what we need. So I have one more step before we can use a for the infusion. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I think the Essentia provider is for this thing. Um, if I am remembering correctly. All right, so let me get this all set up and then uh, we should be good to go. And also for the the jars of Essentia, I totally forgot. I can just insert everything in the A system, of course, and then uh, just pull out what I need with the, the jars. It's actually pretty easy. You can either click on that or click on that and then do that, which is pretty awesome. So let me get this uh, crafted up here. And uh, yeah, we'll get the next parts. The infusion provider. I think I have enough for dangerous. I don't remember though. Um, but there's a couple other things we're gonna have to craft up here, which is a bit annoying. And a quick update. I need to craft two Essentia mirrors because these are used in the thing and it's pretty easy. Just a basic uh, infusion recipe. He's needed a bunch of uh, ender pearls, though. Where did I put my wand? Did I leave it in there? I think I left it in there. Yeah. All right. So we got the essentially mirrors to craft up, and then I think um, I think we're ready to do the infusion provider. Yep. So let me uh, come back when we get all this, and uh, we'll get that ready. All right. We are good. Total stability booster 11, instability 10. I got all the stuff here. And I always leave my wand in the crafting table. I should just carry around another like a cheaper wand just to hit that with, but uh, yeah, we're good. I was like, looked like it wasn't pulling the uh, stuff. That was weird. All right. Anyway, we'll let that go. And, uh, I think we're almost ready with the, yeah, we're almost there. Uh, there's a couple more. I ran out of lubricant, actually. I went through all that, uh, all my seeds, uh, creating lubricant. And I think most of it went to the uh, diesel engines, running the diesel engines. So I am I'm trying to get some better uh, crops here. Uh, but it's definitely taking a little while. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I think we're almost done cutting those things. All right, this is gonna take a little while. Okay, and there we go. We got the infusion provider. Now I am just going to Stick it over here, I think. Um, I think you can just put it down, and if it's in with range, which it should be. Yep, there we go. So it should pull um, any of the Essentia from my network. So in theory, we can just go ahead and break all these. Throw them all in my ME system, and it will pull uh, directly from there into the um, into the infusion recipe, and I won't have to worry about jars and all that stuff. So why don't we go ahead and basically just uh, empty all this stuff in here, and we'll see kind of how full my uh, the drives get. I don't 
think it's going to be too bad. I think they use half a half a byte per Essentia. So like 64 Essentia will be 32 bytes. So uh, what is that? That's about, I don't know, a few hundred there. So as we can see, uh, the types is kind of the issue. Um, but yeah, why don't we do, I would like to test this out uh, really quick. I don't know. Oh, I need to put some of these away uh, just so I don't lose like void jars and something. All right. Um, well, what we were looking at is the Um, the Thaumium Silverwood. How about we do a Silverwood rod? Because that's what we need for the the next thing, and we'll kind of wrap up the episode with that. Um, so let me, uh, yeah, let me break down. I have most of the stuff in the AA system, but let me uh, empty all my jars, get the crystals that we need, and uh, let's do this in Arcane Infusion Recipe and watch it in action. And I'm just double checking we have enough of the elements in here. We need 48 each. And I need Procantio, I think. Yep, I forgot to get that. So good thing I checked um, because I was missing a little bit. I may have time to... I can probably start it because I think Percantio is like the last thing. It, uh, second to last thing it sucks in. Air, Ignis, Terra, Perdicio, Ordo. Yeah, why don't we just go ahead and start it up and hopefully by the time it gets to that, uh, we should be good. Yeah, it's pretty quick. All right. And I left my wand in there. All right, so definitely have time now. All right, so start that and it's pulling. Yep, so there it goes. It's pulling out of the infusion provider. Perfect. All right, so we'll let that just kind of run here. We should be good. That is awesome. I just love centralized networks, like for everything. Power, I like sending everything to my power and then distributing. I like sending this all into one uh, kind of like central thing. And just, I just love that in general with all my different kind of like things here. Um, but while that's working, let's double check. All right, so we got everything finally for this, I think. I think I need the uh, yeah energy hatch. I still haven't crafted this bigger one up yet. That should turn on in a second. Come on, go. All right. Uh, gotta make see what, uh, what am I missing here for the LV? I've made them before, right? Soldering alley. Why is that not in there? Hmm. Interesting. Soldering, 720 output, 720 down. It might have put it back in. Uh, 
let's uh, just uh, manually do it and see if that fixes it. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so it just needed, I don't know what I did. I must have accidentally clicked something when I was like uh, messing around with the different things. Anyway, uh, here we go. So we got our LV, LUV energy hatches going and uh, put this going. And it's just pulling everything in. And there we go. Awesome. So there we go. We got infusion. We got our uh, connected up to the A system. Obviously, we still have to do everything manually. I have to place everything manually down. Um, but uh, last thing uh, we're going to do is obviously not uh, during this episode. We got to wrap up here. Um, but I want to connect this up to the A system so I don't have to manually do this. And I think uh, this one is the Essentia Provider. Uh, we crafted this one already, but uh, I had to use it for the infusion. So I think, uh, yeah, I think it. We'll craft this up uh, next episode, beginning of next episode, and uh, get this automated, I think. And uh, also, I'm going to try in between episodes. Uh, I know this is connected to there. I'm going to see if I can connect this to the 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 Everburn jars downstairs and see if I can figure out why the heck... That all of a sudden stopped working after how many hours? Um, they're just not producing enough lava anymore. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if this like turned into a pale node or something like that. I really don't know. I'm a bit confused at why is that happening. Um, so we'll figure that out uh, maybe in between episodes. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.